What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. I have decided to jump into the corner of the video uh, and take you over some pool footage. We're starting off this video, like I say, with a pool workout. So I'll maybe put up the exercises alongside this little image. Uh, start with pull-ups. Pool, first of all, training's been going fantastically. My training's been on point, my nutrition's been on point. Uh, yeah, and everything's going really, really well. Um, later on in the video, we have a chat with Alex and we change up the macro slightly, but everything's going well. Uh, rack pulls is something that we've brought into the program of late, trying to bring up that upper back width and I'm really enjoying that. Moving 150 kilos here for sets of six, which is fairly, fairly comfortable. And I want to touch on the subject that's not really going to be about this workout, but basically uh, we talked about previously saying I've been enjoying different switching my training up, doing a little bit of CrossFit, doing a little bit of conditioning workouts. For the next five months until this competition, I'm going to dedicate every single second to bodybuilding and getting in the best shape possible. Uh, so hey, all my cardio, uh, training, core routine, everything is just going to be dedicated to bodybuilding. There'll be no conditioning circuits, there'll be nothing like that, nothing off plan unless I go and have an extra session to do so. Uh, for me, the focus at the minute has to be purely bodybuilding. Uh, as you can see here, the pull, lap pull down, my back's actually looking fairly lean. That would be one thing I say stays lean fairly lean around. I hold a lot of fat in my lower back or the bottom of my abs, uh, which most people do generally. Uh, here you go, if we're doing a close grip bench. And you see this, this is the problem I have with David Lloyd. She stole my rope bar from my seated face balls. And that's what training in a commercial gym is like. Uh, I mean, I trained at 24 and it's similar in the fact that it's commercial, but it, it was more bodybuilding focus. As you see there, I had to go find another rope and uh, and uh, get it in. But yeah, training's going really well. This uh, seated rope pull down is something that I've started doing, switching up from standing. I feel like you can isolate the rear delts a lot, lot better. And then we just finished with some curls and the single arm drag curls, which Miles actually showed me a big drag, pull right way through and curl. Just lengthens that tension on the bicep. And uh, yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. Overall training at David Lloyd has been pretty good, apart from it does get Ramo. I do enjoy having all the machines in one room though, so I can see what's next. And as you can see, the camera is about to go, so enjoy the video. We've had a delivery. My protein they currently have, but by the time this video is up, it's probably not on because they're always putting new deals out to buy a box, get the cheapest box free. So, for the cart we have the carb crusher bar and the six layer bar. I've only had this one time before, a long time ago. I really fancy trying this again. So, uh, 20 grams of protein, 2.4 sugar, to give you the full macros. 20 protein, 7.8 fat and 15 carbs, 219. So yeah, pretty standard as they go. Not too bad. Absolute vibey bar, look at that. Very, very, very sweet. Jeez, very sweet, but not too bad. And then these, we have fudge brownie, low on the carbs, they're a banker. Good morning, what is cracking? I've just got back in from work. I have been maintaining, well dieting, but on maintenance calories for one week, being super strict, tracking every single gram, and I did my in-body results again one week in, and the results were shit. So that's the end. No, I'm joking. Uh, the results weren't great. Uh, my body weight was down, well, I'll put them on screen, but my body weight was down like, I think it was like 0.7 kilos, my muscle was down 0.4, and my body fat stayed exactly the same. So I do always find eating at maintenance calories hard, like I said, I'm trying to keep the calories high, trying to keep full, trying to keep the strength in the gym. Um, but I also do want to be seeing that scale weight drop a little bit. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to have a FaceTime call with Alex again later, whether we just drop into this deficit right now. I know that when I get back from skin, I actually only have 15 weeks and 15 weeks to prep for men's football, my first ever men's physique show, I don't actually think it's gonna be long enough. So we will go to a slight deficit one or two weeks before I go away, but I don't, I'm debating whether to do it, make it three or four, just so that if I do lose the games while I'm away, I've got a bit of um, a leeway as well. Well, I've got to sit and go through all this paperwork and try to do some admin shit. But first, actually, I just had a package, and I do know what it is. 
So, the guys over... So as I was doing that unboxing, my SD card ran out of storage. So I finished unboxing it, thought I was filming the whole thing, and I didn't. Went upstairs and filmed a review, so I had to change the SD card. So you'll see the review in a minute. But I was saying, these guys at Innate sent out a hoodie and a t-shirt, and I'm seriously, seriously impressed with their products. Uh, they reached out on Instagram, and they've been in contact for quite a while, uh, messaging me about the house is a very 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 small company only launched i think early in 2019 um we've had a bit of back and forth communication and they said riley let's send you out some products see what you think um but i was seriously seriously impressed with the quality um i go on to say that i'm not actually mad about the logo um but like i say the quality of the products are really really good um i think this is the origin range um which i'll try and put on screen or something so you can check that out uh but yeah let's go back to previous Riley on the old SD card and uh, do a little review. Okay, this actually really, really impressed me. The quality of these products are really nice. Um, so, just nice, simple branding across the front and a big pocket. I went for large in both. But the quality of the hoodie is actually really, really good. I, I didn't know because it's easy for a new brand to just get cheap, easy, quick materials. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with this. Nice, solid fit. It looks better than the athlete one I just had on. And then exactly the same in the t-shirt version. Good length, fit on the arms is nice, solid, doesn't raise up too much. Looks good. And the brand is that sort of like a raised print. The one thing I will say that I'm not actually mad on the brand in itself, um, the quality and the materials are bang on the money. And I suppose it is nice and plain and simple, but I like slightly like smaller logos and stuff like that. But, probably gonna rock this for gym. It's meant to be a rest day, but after that rain today, I might go and train. I don't know. Bit of a curb term and everything. Decent, right, I only go do my admin. And they even ripped me a lovely little note just saying about the products. This is the Origin range, if you wanna check it out. Go over to their Instagram, or I will link their website down below. Gaff is popping off on a Saturday. Wow. Got younger bro here. Okay. Still putting in the work. Still painting, absolute sound. Elder bro is also just here. Uh, he's left. But, we've had a delivery. So, let's unbox. I needed some new training trainers. I've got two pairs of Epic Reacts and they are generally the most comfortable Training shoe I've ever worn. So, oh shit, I'm not going to put new, new shoes on the side. Bad luck, in it? But, we have a new box. Nike have got a fat sale on, I don't know if it's still a sale on, but we picked up these new Element Reacts, black with a little bit of vibe on the sole. Bit purple, bit of yellowy, but it will go with a lot and a nice stable shoe. They've changed the design. This tick's definitely more, a lot bigger since the two pairs I've got upstairs. But they're so comfortable. I hope the fit hasn't changed because, like I said, my favourite shoe. Um, but this is going to be like the summer shredding or cut and curry shoe that um, every time I put these on, I know I've got to go to work. I also just had a face on call with Alex and he's. Happy with where we are. Like I said, we've got so long. Um, he has actually started to give me rest day and training day macros, so they slightly differ. Uh, he's basically pulled about 300 calories worth of carbs on the non-training days, but injected another 100 into fats. So it's like a like 200 calorie deficit compared to training days and rest days. But it's all, all very, very good. And they fit like a glove. You haven't been on the vlog in ages. People think you've heard me up. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. I feel like that's probably very close. It is. It's even closer now. What are we about to go do? We're about to go get some ski prep in. We're going to, what's it called? Cow shop. Cow shop. Cow shop with Toes and Katie. Little baby slope. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's up to much for me and Toes basically professional skiers, but we're going to teach this one. You don't reckon I'm good? No, I know you're good, but you're not professional. 
professional skier. Professional skier standard. Here he is, the natural. Back again uh, to outro this video. This video, it seems to be like we're just turning into buying things and reviewing things. Uh, we've got Beth in the back there eating Din Dins. What are we watching? Oh, SAS Who Dares Wins. Bang, or a series. Also, we just finished uh, the Kevin Hart documentary. We have Money Heist. 100% banker, one of my favourite series, similar to Prison Break. Uh, then we watched You. I wasn't a massive fan of it. He pisses me off. Uh, but you like that. And then now we just finished Kevin Hart. What's it called? Don't fuck this up. Really good documentary. Made me realise how much shit he's got going on. He's a very switched on guy. Like a series and everyone Yeah, he's sick. I really, really watched that. I uh, really, really enjoyed watching that. And now I'm listening to the podcast with Joe Rogan because that featured a little bit in the program. Right, we're rambling. I think we're going to call this series Kyle McCurry because I actually, in January, I started doing uh, some transformations with my clients, weekly wins, and I called the spreadsheet Kyle McCurry. I then put a poll on Instagram saying, what should we call this YouTube series we've got going on here? And one of my pals said, why don't you call it Cut with Curry? So it seems right. If you've got any better choices, tell me below. But I think that's going to stick with me. So Cut with Curries, episode two. What was your favourite? One guy, one cut. One guy, one cut. Not cut. But we're not going to call it that. Hey, Luke. Hey, Rossi. <laughs> cut with Curry is a go. Two episodes down. 20 weeks out or something. Many more to come. See you in the next one.